All right, hello everyone. How's everyone doing today? It is Thursday. Yes, it is Thursday, January 21st, 2016. We've got 10 days left in the month of January. And, uh, huh. Yeah, if you can believe it, we're 21 days into the new year, which it certainly does not feel like, does it? It doesn't feel like that at all. No, it doesn't. We, uh, hit the ground running this year with a lot of different initiatives and stuff, at least with, you know, myself and my, my YouTube channels and such. And here we are three weeks into the freaking year, and I'm like, damn. Not to say that it's not like this every year, because it really is. You know, the older you get, the faster time moves. At least it feels like that. Not that time actually moves faster. But uh, it's funny, because when you're younger, right? When you're younger, you don't have any money. You don't have freedom to move around, right? Maybe you don't have a car. You can't drive anywhere. Uh, and when you don't have the freedom and the money to do what you want to do, uh, it seems like there's not a lot going on. And I remember when I was much younger, I would always say, man, I am bored. I am so bored. There's nothing going on. There's nothing to do. And in this day and age, I don't say that anymore. Now I say, man, I just there's so much going on and there's so much to do. I wish I had more time. <laughs> It's weird how, as you get older, how these things change. It really is. So here we are, three weeks into the new year. And January is almost over. Only 10 days left in the month. And just to think back on all the stuff we've already done this month, right? I, uh, you know, I wrapped up a few ongoing playthroughs that were going on, you know, with my channels. We did all the year-end series, including, you know, the disappointing games of the year. The Funniest Moments of the Year, My Favorite Playthroughs, the Game of the Year Awards. Balanced all of that with setting up all my new YouTube channels. Well, all my I say all my new YouTube channels when really in reality there's only one new YouTube channel, KO Gaming. But it was a lot of work. And, uh, you know, a lot of setup <clears throat> behind the scenes. While I was juggling the new playthroughs like Yakuza 5 and... Uh, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, and, you know, like I said, finishing up some of the other older ones to get them finished, like Rise of the Tomb Raider. And, uh, yeah, there's been just a ton of stuff going on, even though, even though in reality, and it's funny because I was just talking to people in the stream chat about this, I said, you know, it's been pretty dead game gaming-wise since probably mid-December, since I finished my Fallout 4 playthrough. And, uh, and really, there hasn't been anything new going on in gaming for a while. It's been pretty dead. Uh, and we lost a lot of regulars, honestly. People who we saw who were coming around since the summer of last year. Because it's funny how it works, right? There's different gaming seasons. In the summer of last year, when it was very slow, but a lot of people had a lot of free time, so they started coming by the streams to check out stuff daily. Then you had the hardcore gaming season, when there were absolutely non-stop releases coming out and people were coming out daily to come check out the gameplay content because there was so much going on. And then come December, people get caught up with the holidays, right? And real life and stuff going on, they get busy. And being that there's no new game releases, they, uh, you know, they stop coming by. It's funny just because in the past month, one month, if you look, the stream attendance is very different. We've got... Well, although we do have a lot of people here who were regulars, you know, they've been around for a while and they come and buy every stream, even just the mods, the mods on the stream, a lot of them just disappeared. And, you know, it's not like the, the mods came to me and said, listen, Phil, I don't like you and I'm not coming to mod anymore or anything like that, you know, uh, and it certainly wasn't that I, anything that I'm even aware of, just maybe they got busy with life or whatever and they, 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 they move on, they do different stuff and then you get a new rotation of people who come in. And, uh, it's funny, but that's life. I mean, ever since I started live streaming back in 2013, yeah, if you can believe it, it's been over two years. Well, I take that back. I believe it was early. It was February of 2013. Now I'm remembering because the first major playthrough I did live streaming was the original Tomb Raider reboot, which came out in like mid to late February. <laughs> so it's been almost two years. Wait a minute. It's been over two years. It's 2016. Holy shit. <laughs> Forgetting even what, what year it is. It's been almost three years 
since I uh, I started live streaming. Damn. And I remember when I originally started live streaming, there was one group of people who were watching my stuff daily and who were modding and doing all this stuff for me. And you know, times change as things move on and 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 evolve. People get busy and things shift around. I remember there was a major there was a major shift twice during my time on Twitch TV. I remember that twice where people kind of, you know, oh, I'm busy, you know, moving on. I had to find new people to mod and other people started coming in. And then I remember, you know, when the Twitch era ended in late 2014, it was November of 2014, when for whatever reason, Twitch singled me out and said, uh, you know, we don't want you to stream at a high bit rate anymore. And I said, but there's tons of people on Twitch who are doing it right now. You haven't singled them out. And they certainly aren't doing as much streaming as I am. And as you can see, I'm doing these high-quality playthroughs on the new consoles. And Twitch basically didn't give a shit. Which, honestly, can you really blame Twitch? No. Uh, the, the people on Twitch who are the mods aren't even employees, if you can believe it. A lot of people don't know that. The Twitch mods are not employees. They're just fucking volunteer kids. Why anyone would volunteer to work for a major corporation that's rolling in money... And do it for free, I have no idea. It's one thing for my mods who are volunteers, because you know who I am. I'm a very personable person. You know everything about me. I've shared my life with you over the past seven to eight years, and you know who I am. I can't afford to pay chat mods. Basically, people who come and mod for me are fans and viewers. Why people would volunteer to help a major corporation rolling in investors' money, I have no idea. But I digress. Uh, yeah, you know, those mods just do what they're told. So I'm pretty sure that it wasn't like someone singling me out to be a dick for whatever reason. You know, they have these criteria over on Twitch. And, uh, you know, they singled me out and I told them, well, listen, if you're going to single me out, then forget you. You know, there's other options. There's other ways I can go. And, you know, you guys think you're hot shit. And, you know, in a lot of ways, yeah, you are the biggest streaming website. But there's a lot of things about you that I disagree with. And quite honestly, I've kind of just... Uh, turned a blind eye to those things so that I could stream on your site, but if you're really going to be a dick to me and single me out, then I'm gone. And I remember when I left Twitch, that was another big thing of contention. People getting pissed off. Uh, people leaving Twitch. He feels leaving Twitch. Uh. Yeah. You know, I'm my own person, and I got my own ideals and, and, and beliefs and I want to do what I want to do, and I want to put out the best quality product that I can. And uh, for me, it's not about constantly, as you know, once I start gameplay, that's it. I'm not constantly ever plugging anything once the gameplay starts. That's it. Well, that's serious business once the gameplay starts for me. I'm not going to be asking for subs and, and playing messages for subs and constantly be talking about it during gameplay because that's not who I am. A lot of people have said, Phil, why don't you adopt a streaming-only model? Where you basically just totally interact with your viewers the entire time you're live streaming. And that way you'll get lots of subs on Twitch and blah, blah, blah. You know, listen, no. You know, no. I don't care about that shit. Sorry. You know, I'm here to uh, give you quality gameplay and or entertain you on a daily basis. And that's what I'm here for. You know, I'm not here for, for constant, constant advertisement and plugging. You know, it's hilarious because I still get complaints about it. But, you know, it's funny because I only do it, what? The entirety of 15 minutes a day? While for a lot of these people, it's constant. Constant advertisement, constant begging. But anyway, I digress. You know, I remember when I left Twitch in November of 2014 that uh, that was another big thing of contention. Phil left Twitch and no, it's not going to be the same. And a bunch of people stopped watching my streaming then. And then I started on YouTube, and a big group of people started watching me on YouTube then. And then I remember it started to stagnate a little bit in early 2015. And then all of a sudden it picked up again when newer games started coming out like Bloodborne and Batman and stuff like that. And then it started to stagnate again during the summer. And then it picked up again uh, in late summer into the hardcore gaming season. It's funny because, like I said, every time, right? Every time... Uh, that I, 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 one of these things happens, it's a whole new group of people watching. It's very bizarre how it works. 
And I can understand, you know, people get busy, people have like different things that they get caught up in and they like and they dislike at different times of their lives. And there's a time in my life, <clears throat> right before I started doing YouTube, I was super duper, like, super follower, super infatuated with the Angry Video Game Nerd, with uh, the Nostalgia Critic. I was watching their stuff constantly. Every new video I was watching, I would download their videos and put them on my... Back then I had a Zune, if you can believe it. I had a fucking Zune. You know. Uh, and I used to watch their stuff like non-stop. I'd go on break at my office job and watch their videos on my Zune at my desk. That's how crazy it was. It was just like I was a super fan. I could tell you everything about them. You know. And then it's funny because then when I started my own YouTube gig, right, I started in, in, in 2008 doing YouTube videos and I saw that it picked up, I completely fell off. And I could not tell you a single thing about those guys since then, besides maybe that the Angry Video Game Nerd finally came out with his movie and no one really liked it. That's what I've heard anyway, the vibe I got. Um, that's about it. I don't know anything about these guys anymore. <clears throat> so I, I personally have been in that situation. You know what I mean? Where I've been a super fan of something. I was constantly in on everything. I was a, I was a paid subscriber of the Nostalgia Critics website. Just so I could get exclusive access to his stuff right away. And I could download his videos and stuff like that. And then I just got busy with my own shit. And when, you, when that happens, you know, it, things change, quite honestly. <clears throat> so I've been in there. I've, I've been in that position. But it's just a, a funny observation, you know. It's a funny observation to make because I look at the stream chat and I, every day it's different, you know. When there's a new release, there's a, one group of people. When it's just a daily stream of an ongoing playthrough or it's a more niche kind of a, a deal. Like today we're doing Yakuza 5. It's another different group of people who turn in and turn out for the streams, right? Um... It, it, it's 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 just an interesting thing. It's been a, a phenomenon. It really has. And I wonder if this is like this for everyone or what. I don't know. But anyway, I digress. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the stream. Wow, I just talked for like 10 minutes about that. <clears throat> Damn. Anyway, welcome to the stream. Yakuza 5 today. We'll be playing around three to three and a half hours of Yakuza 5 on stream today. Continuing to play through. If you remember last time <clears throat> that we were playing, <clears throat> excuse me, it, the game really picked up because we got a murder mystery on our hands. We went from trying to be a teen pop idol for like six hours and could have completely converted into a murder mystery. Akiyama has returned. So we've got combat back in the game. That's good. And uh, I'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen here with this ongoing murder mystery. <clears throat> So that's today's gameplay stream. Later tonight, I'll be doing this month's Loot Crate unboxing. Uh, I just got my Loot Crate yesterday, so I'll be doing that tonight. That'll be a, a special vlog up on the King of Hate Vlogs. Speaking of special vlogs, I hope that you checked out my reactions video to both Suicide Squad and Wonder Woman last night. Something different that I'm doing this year when I see things that I want to talk about and react to. I'm going to do it. <clears throat> Am I going to watch the fucking thing live and show you a live facial expression? No, because that's fucking stupid. But I will definitely tell you my thoughts after I've watched something or seen something or heard a news story and let it sink in and digested it, and then I'll tell you my, my full thoughts on it. So, hopefully you've checked that out and you've enjoyed it. Lots of people have. I believe as of this morning it had over 4,000 views, and I was like, damn, you know, it's only been out for like 12 hours. And I didn't expect that kind of a reaction, but people apparently are really liking it. They're like, wow, this is the kind of stuff we wanted from Phil for years. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, we haven't done it yet. We haven't done it yet. What am I talking about? I haven't d really done it yet is what I meant to say. You know, the vlogging channel was always kind of a secondary thing for me. Uh, and now it's going to become more of a primary focus where uh, hopefully a few times a week I'll have fun stuff to share with you guys. And uh, hopefully it will finally organically grow. And that's kind of the problem with my vlogging is because it's always been the secondary thing. It's never really organically grown. It's always been a side thing to my YouTube gaming stuff. 
but I think that people actually would be pretty interested in hearing my opinions on stuff. At least that's what people have said to me. You know, over the past two and a half years, every time I do a podcast, the views are high as hell, and people are like, wow, we wish Phil would do this more often. So, uh, I guess we'll see. This was the first... Uh, the first opportunity for me to try something different. People seem to be liking it. And if that's the case, I will keep doing it. Okay. <clears throat> In fact, this weekend I'm scheduled to see the uh, Star Wars movie. Star Wars The Force Awakens. Yeah, I know. Here we are well, over a month after the movie actually came out. And I'm finally going to see it. I was trying to see it for the past three weeks. And every week I was sick. <laughs> Either Leanna was sick, then I was sick. And we were like, well, we're not going to see this movie if we're sitting there choking, you know. We're finally going to see the Star Wars on Saturday, and I'll probably be doing my a reactions vlog to the movie uh, that I'll probably release early next week, so that'll be a fun one, right? Also, of course, I'm going to give a gratuitous plug to my new channel, KO Gaming, which uh, a couple days ago, I released my first impressions video on Resident Evil Zero, remastered. And uh, tonight and tomorrow, I'll be working on my very first Hits of the Week. For those who aren't aware, this is going to be my weekly series where I'm going to take the highlights, the best moments from my raw gameplay on DSP Gaming, and I'm going to turn it into a montage of funny stuff. And this week, just think of some of the funny stuff we've had this week, right? Yakuza 5, the overweight girl doing insane stuff, that was pretty funny, right? Um, and then, of course, turning that heartwarming stuff we're into directly into tragedy with the murder of Miss Park. What the fuck? In Grand Theft Auto Liberty City stories, we had absolute hilarity, crazy-ass missions, killer suicidal cops, insane stuff going on in that game, glitches. Like, that game was wild. So there's gonna be some fun stuff I'll be throwing in from that. <sighs> and then, of course, Resident Evil Zero that I've been playing for the past two days, which is cripplingly difficult. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm going to be tossing together a lot of those video clips into a, a nice montage for you that I'm hoping I can maybe release tomorrow night. I guess we'll see. Uh, you know, fingers crossed that it comes out well. I think I should be able to release it, you know, hopefully in a timely manner for this weekend. So lots of stuff, and it's funny because I was thinking about this uh, last night. I was thinking about, I'm like, man, this week's been pretty eventful. Just think about it. Every day this week, I've put out uh, multiple videos. So Sunday, we had Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories in the weekend preview. Monday, we had more uh, Liberty City Stories concluding, right? Tuesday, we had the premiere of Resident Evil Zero in the first impressions video. Wednesday, we had Resident Evil Zero in my... Uh, Suicide Squad slash Wonder Woman reactions. Today we're going to have Yakuza 5 and the Loot Crate unboxing. Tomorrow we're going to have Resident Evil and my Hits of the Week. Saturday we're probably going to do either more Resident Evil or Yakuza and a DSP tries it. Sunday we're going to have a gameplay stream in the Weekend Preview. Monday we're going to have a gameplay stream and my Star Wars The Force Awakens reactions video. And I'm like, holy shit, Like this is cool. I like this. I like this because this is what I always wanted. Diversification and consistency. And quite honestly, I never really had that, you know? For me, it was always like gameplay, 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 gameplay. Oh, there's no gameplay today or there's not a lot of gameplay today because there's nothing going on. Or I'll just maybe do an extra video. And now it's a lot different. Now it's going to be Every day, a different kind of video being released. And what I'm hoping is this is going to reinvigorate people. You know, I've got over 30,000 subscribers on my vlogging channel. And every time I put a video out there, maybe at the most, it, videos get around 10,000 views. You know, so there's 20,000 people who are bored or just moved on because for whatever reason, I didn't entertain them, right? We got a new channel, KO Gaming, that now has about... I think it's just under 4,000 subscribers. Don't don't quote me on that because I actually didn't check it this morning. I know every day I'm getting consistently more subscribers. I'm just not checking it constantly. So I'm hoping that every video I, I upload over there is going to get around that amount of viewership. But, you know, there's no guarantees. I'm hoping that in, in a month or two, once things pick up, that I'll get... What, I, what I'd really like 
is to maybe get around 10,000 views on every video I put out. Because I think if I can consistently get 10,000 views on every single project I put out there, that it'll, it'll be viable. You know what I mean? Like, even if I take hours every day to put out a video, if I can get that consistency, and then, of course, it'll start to grow organically. That was my problem. Again, not, and since I had lack of consistency, I would very sporadically be putting out videos. People didn't know when to expect it. People didn't know what to expect. When it came out, it was great, but a lot of people said, well, there's no consistency, so why am I going to actively be checking on stuff? You know what I mean? So that's why I'm happy. I'm happy that's working out so far this year. And, you know, just think about this week. So this week, you know, Monday, Star Wars The Force Awakens reactions. Tuesday, if everything goes correctly, which I hope it will, I'm going to probably be starting Undertale. So I'll probably be doing a first impressions of Undertale video. Probably Wednesday or Thursday-ish. Uh, we'll have some kind of maybe vlog, special vlog. By the way, I am doing Ask the King this week. So Ask the King is going to happen. And then we're going to be doing... My marathon of rock band, which of course is going to turn into, uh, you know, a rock band probably highlights. There's so much that I could do, so much potential. It's awesome. I'm feeling very positive. I am. I'm feeling pretty good. And, uh, you know, I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy that, uh, you know, people are excited for the new stuff and that it's working out so far. You know, when I share this kind of stuff with you on a pre-stream, and I apologize that we are late today, but like I said, I'm trying to... The stream is building up nicely, and we're going to start in a moment. So if you are dying for the gameplay of Yakuza 5, don't worry. We're starting in a moment. Just I'm, I'm trying to build it up a little bit more here because we started late, and like... I, oh, I forgot to even tell you. I'll tell you in a moment. But, uh... You know, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good, feeling pretty excited for the future. And, uh... Hopefully... Things will work out, right? But anyway, the reason I'm late today is because I didn't feel too good. I woke up, and it's funny because, you know, I was just, I'm getting over a sickness. I was sick for a week, almost. Last week, I was pretty bad off. Five days, I could barely talk. And uh, I woke up this morning freezing, like very cold. I was like, damn, why am I so cold? You know, the heat should be on. I don't understand what's going on. And then I swallowed. I was like, oh, God, now my throat was swollen and it hurt. So I'm, I'm like running really behind today. Everything I'm doing is like, I feel lagging. It's one of those days when, you ever had those days when you feel like everything is behind, your body is moving slow, and, uh, you know, everything just seems like it's taking forever. Even though you're trying to move fast, you can't. That's today for me. So, uh, <laughs> it's all good. Yakuza Vibe, this will be a nice, a more relaxed stream, even though there's a murder mystery we have to solve, the murder of Miss Park. It'll be a more relaxed stream for us, I think. And, uh, I already, I used the cough drop, so my throat feels much better. And I'm hoping that it stays like that, because I certainly don't want a sore throat to come back. I think it was more just because it was so cold and dry air and stuff <clears throat> in the bedroom or whatever last night, so. All right, I guess that's enough rambling from me. What do you think? What do you think? Let's all be nice and relaxed. Grab a nice drink, get a snack, sit back, relax, get ready for several hours of relaxing Yakuza 5 gameplay, including probably faces grating on the ground, smashing people into buildings, and of course, dance battles. You know, all our favorite stuff. <laughs> what a game this is. <clears throat> all right. I guess that's it, everybody. Enough rambling for me. Let me end the pre-stream, and we shall begin with Yakuza 5 gameplay. I thank you for being here on the stream and being, uh, you know, patient. And I think it's time to start. What do you think? Is it time to start? Hold on. What the hell? That was the wrong button. This was the button I wanted to push. That was bizarre. I don't even know what that other button was. Then what's, wait a minute, then what's this one? Alright, I guess either of those last two would have fit. Alright, enough of this. Let's get started with Yakuza 5. Enough beating around the bush. Very nice. <laughs> 